Do you wanna see what happens when you actually win a Funko lottery and how to properly navigate so you get all the Funko Pops that you want? Well, let's go inside and film the rest of this video because unlike Corey Hart, I don't wear my sunglasses at night. Let's get into it right now. Hey everybody, it's Cody from Popular Opinion. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Thanks for coming and watch today's video. Hope you're gonna get a lot out of this. We're gonna walk through the whole complete lottery process. If you do win and you get in, you know, what does it look like? How do you even get in? And then what's the best way to check out to hopefully get you everything that you wanna get. If we provide some value and entertainment for you today, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. So if you're not familiar with, you know, the Funko lotteries, of course, with COVID going on right now, that's how they are selling all the Funko products. But to get into the lottery, things are a little bit different now, and you have to join the Funko Insider Club. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the screen for you, kind of show you where to go if you weren't familiar with what it looks like or how to sign up. So if you're not signed up for the Funko Fan Club, all you have to do is go to Funko.com and if you hover over here to this little icon, you can click here. That is your account. It's going to pull up this page and it's going to go ahead and it's going to show you, hey, welcome to the Funko Fan Club. You can sign up and register underneath. And what they do is they take this email here. Uh, they use your email and that's really what enters you in for the lotteries now in the past if you weren't on the funko fan club already they did mention that there will be times just for signing up they may send you some cool funko items in the mail personally i haven't seen or heard them do that just yet but if you're not signed up go ahead and go to funko.com register so that way when they do the future lotteries you have a chance to get in so, you know, with them doing the Funko lotteries, you know, they've done these virtually over the past, you know, year with COVID going on. I haven't personally gotten into any lotteries before, but I got lucky this time. And I wanted to show you what it looks like when Funko sends you an email so you know what to do and how you can walk through the steps and get yourself ready to go to get everything you want on the lottery and hopefully do better than I did, which we'll get to that at the end. But I wanna show you what the initial email confirmation that I got in looked like. So we'll pull that up now so you can see it. So when I got the email from Funko, this is what it looked like for the Virtual Con Spring 2021. You know, it says, congratulations, you know, you want access to shop our Virtual Con Spring 2021 event. It tells you the info here when to access it, they give you a time slot. This was my time slot for when I could enter the lottery. I can tell you there was different times for people of when they could go and check in. So it's what it told me on 3-3. Winners will receive the email. It will contain a link to the sale and a password to access the sale. Now, everybody's password is different. That's why they don't have it here and then no password's the same. But it does tell you on the date they'll send it to you five minutes before your time slot over you see this here five minutes before your time slot opens it'll have the password it was the only way to get in you could not access it from funko.com what they're trying funko's really trying here to to fight the bots off as best they can and it does tell you please make sure that you read this Winners must log in with their Funko Fan Club email address. So what I just showed you previously, you can't use another email if you win the lottery. You've got to use that one. Two other super important things. You can only get one of each item per winner, so you can't do multiples of the same uh, Funko Pop. This is the most important thing. There's one order per winner. It's not like the shared cons or maybe you can go in and you know hit the queue, pick out one or two things. You go back in and notice some things haven't sold out. No, you got to jump in and get everything on one order. That's all you got. Again, read this too. Orders using an email not associated with a lottery winner will be canceled. Yes, will be canceled. So you have to use the Funko email. 
please have your credit card information ready for when you check out. We're going to talk about that a little more detail. Uh, let me go back out and we'll, we'll talk about a few other things. I'm going to show you another email. All right, so that's the process, right? We got our email. We know all the information. Let's say we're getting close to lottery day. What happens next, right? We know we're getting in. We know we're getting ready to go shop. What's the next step? What does it look like when they email you? And I want to tell you, I personally use Gmail. Now, that particular email that I won lottery access was in my promotions folder. So make sure when you enter these, check your junk folders, check your promotion folders. It could be in another folder that maybe you didn't check your regular inbox because you might miss it. So be sure to look out for that. So let's say, hey, we're here. It's lottery day, Cody. What are we going to do next? How do we get in? What does it look like? I want you to be able to see what this looks like because I want you ready. If you win one of these next cons, I want you ready and, know, and to know what to do. So I'm going to show you the next email when it's time for you to go shop what happens okay so here we are the, at their email i hid the top part because it showed my password i got for the site it's already been used so it wouldn't matter if i showed you i guess really anyway but here you go one more time this is the email it tells you at the top it's time to shop the virtual con okay it's got your time slot one more time it tells you that again if you can't access it, it gives you another link important reminders it tells you again uh, this sale is restricted to wave one winners only you can only place one order during the event. They tell you that multiple times. Now here was an interesting part. Please have your credit card information handy for when you check out. But look at what they did now. Now this is again, people were complaining about, you know, having the information saved. People were checking out faster than others. It was bots and all this stuff. So look what they did. Express checkout options like Shop Pay, Amazon Pay, Apple Pay, Google Pay will not be accepted. So you couldn't put those codes in to check out faster. You had to actually manually enter, you know, all your debit and credit card information at the end to check out. So everybody's on the same playing field. You know, they didn't, I guess they were Funko's trying to get out of everything. So people won't complain. They tell you again, you must use the email address that you used for the lottery. And this is also important. Now they tell you when you when it's your time, do not enter early because it could enter in early and the password that they give you to check out, do not put it in early because you could get locked out of the sale. Imagine that you're here, you're getting ready to go shopping. You got the password, you won the lottery, you put it in early and you get locked out. That would be terrible. So I'm gonna go back and we're gonna talk about a couple other things and I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks real quick. But before we get to the tips and tricks, hey, I hope you've got to see some cool things that you didn't know. If I'm bringing you some value, some entertainment today, make sure you've hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you're new here. We do a ton of Funko unboxing videos, comedy skits, and I have a live game show on Monday nights where you can see celebrity guests and live music. So I think you'll love the channel if you're not already subscribed. But I kind of had some other notes here I wanted to get to. I want to talk about, hey, what was I able to get? You know, I won the lottery. How did it go? Was it a smooth process when I was able to check out? Here's what I was. I was able to get a few things. I was able to get a few things. I got about, you know, 10 items in, you know, some things I missed out on. I was excited. I got the, the zombie Morbius. I was super excited to get that. I did get a couple other, you know, the sodas I wanted to get. I got some of the three packs. I did get dead man. That was uh, also get a miss specter. But I did get the dead man. I missed out on the LE stuff. I'm going to tell you why. Look, I had the lottery. I was going to try to get as much stuff as I could because I won. I'm going to tell you why that's a bad idea for the tips and tricks. That was a bad idea. I thought I could go in. I was going to try to add as much as I could. Just check out. But as one thing would sell out, what it would do at the checkout page, it would reload. And it would show you the new total price. And I don't want to show those, those screens up. But it would show you a new total price. And then something else would sell out and then something else would sell out. So I ended up missing the two limited edition pieces like the Ogre and the Pirates of the Caribbean limited edition pop. I missed both of those. So I was really kind of disappointed I missed out on that. But at the end of the day, I did get a couple things that I really wanted to get. And I feel lucky that I was able to enter the lottery anyway, because I believe only 9,000 people were able to get in and actually win the lottery. So I'm thankful for that. I was able to get a couple things I wanted. If you didn't know something about the, the Funko Lottery that was mentioned to me, anything on the Funko shop 
was a 50% chance at getting a con sticker. All the shared retailers, you know, your GameStops, you know, your Walmarts, you know, places like that. Everything on those was supposed to be a con sticker, but the Funko shop, it's a 50% chance. Didn't know that going into it. Make sure you monitor that going forward. So you might be aware that might steer you from ordering some things because you may not get the con sticker anyway. So I was looking to get some things, you know, I got a, a good selection of stuff, you know, because I thought it'd be great. You know, I love doing, you know, mystery boxes. I love giving stuff to the, the Patreons. And if, if you're not a Patreon, you know, the links in the description, I try to make cool mystery boxes and send to the Patreons. There's levels for that. There's levels if you just want to support the channel. It's a patreon.com slash popular opinion if you're interested in that. Also, every couple of weeks, I do a whatnot auction and I love having some cool stuff to put in whatnot. But a lot of the ECC stuff I got today a lot of that's going to stay in the personal collection since i was able to get a con sticker but i will throw some uh pops in a mystery box or on whatnot so make sure you follow me on, on whatnot you can search whatnot.com go to users and type popular opinion and find me there too so some tips and tricks let's talk about some tips and tricks so you can make sure that you can get all the pops you want here's what i would tell you to do and i'm going to show you i'll put the list back up for you one more time just so you can see all the shared exclusives and give you to run through some ideas for you all right so here we are on comicbook.com here's just a couple tips that i've got for you and i wanted to show you this in case you weren't familiar with what came out uh, this year you can at least see all the options here but here's where everything was dropping you got all your places that you would find all your funko shop drops now what i would tell you if you win the lottery the first rule of advice i've got for you a get what you want get what you want and get out get what you want and get out because you don't have a lot of time to check out i can tell you i had about five minutes to check out and i think they you know people are just checking out as fast as possible so you don't have very long but you know get what you want and get out as quick as possible now that's the first tip and that's going to lead me into tip number two tip number two is know what you want know what you want ahead of time make a list of the things that you just know you want to get that you can't live without and don't go crazy because you're probably not going to get everything don't be like me that's what i try to do i try to get most everything here because i won the lottery i knew it was a shot i was like you know what i might not ever win a lottery again because i've never won one up until now so i went for it it didn't work so i'm here to tell you don't try to do that pick out you know a handful that you want you know i would say the safe bet is probably 10 or less when they've got so many like I, there were over 20 items in this you know in this funko virtual con so get what you want check out but know what you want know what you want is very very important so let me close this and we'll wrap things up real quick so that was my experience i will tell you to wrap some things up overall the checkout experience was very smooth. It didn't buffer. There wasn't any loading issues. It took my you know, information in. I didn't have to retype anything. Even after things would sell out and it would kick me out, I didn't have to retype anything in. I think Funko's getting better with this process. There's not going to be a perfect way for them to do things. This is just the world we live in. I think this is better than what they were doing before, and I like it. I hope they kind of continue to improve on it. But at the end of the day, you know, not everybody can get in and get the con stickers. Let's be glad that we don't have to pay, you know, a, a flight to get to some of these cons. We don't have to book hotels and still enter the lottery. You still would have had to enter the lottery in the past to even get a shot, even if you were at the towns the cons were at, to buy the pops with the con stickers. So you're saving so much money. I like the virtual cons. You know, I miss meeting some of the celebrities, you know, at some of these conventions, but Think of how many more people now have the options to get these pops so much cheaper. I think that's a win-win situation. Overall, did I get everything I wanted today in the virtual con? No, but I'm thankful I got the opportunity to get some things I wanted. I'm thankful that I got the opportunity. So maybe you who missed out on some things that you want to get, maybe you'll be able to get some things from me at a lot cheaper price because I'm not here to put a bunch of stuff up on eBay at, at flipper prices i'm not here to do that i'll put stuff in bunko mystery boxes give you a chance to win stuff for cheap 
I'll put stuff up on whatnot about what I paid for it and you can bid on it on whatnot. I'll give you a couple options to get some things from me. If you're not following me on Instagram, hey, the link's right down here. Popular Opinion YouTube, you can follow me. You'll see anytime I post videos up, you'll see anytime I'm doing some auctions or mystery boxes, you'll be the first to know. If this is your first time here, appreciate you watching today's video. That's gonna wrap it up for me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And I hope you got to get some tactics that you can use, some tips and tricks that you can use. So if you win the lottery, you'll know what to do. I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. And I'll see you in the next video.